everybody, Lori here for Waffle Flower. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to take a closer look at the new Sneak Peek Club kit by Waffle Flower. It comes in a really adorable, kind of reusable plastic bag, branded rainbow love it Waffle Flower. You can keep all the contents of your kit together in this bag. So we're gonna take a look at what's inside this Sneak Peek Club number three kit. You get a package of Slim Shaker Butterfly. You get three in the package. There's the adorable Fluttering By stamp set. And then there's the Butterfly Shaker die set. And then there's also some little bonus sentiments in this kit. These are like pre-printed sentiment strips. You can trim them out, use them on your projects. I love the white on black. And then last but certainly not least, my favorite, the Butterfly Shaker Stencil. Butterfly Shaker Coloring Stencil. Okay, we're going to get to go on. I'm making a couple of uh, projects. One's just a standard card, a shaker card, and then one's a little butterfly shape card. So I couldn't wait to blend some butterflies. I have a panel of white cardstock here. I'm actually using Hammer Mill. Any white cardstock will do. I'm going to adhere this butterfly stencil. I'm going to do a two tone butterfly. So I'm kind of masking off the top. You really don't have to be too careful about masking because if you're going to use the dies, you're going to cut everything around the outsides anyway, so you don't really have to mask off. But if you were just wanting to blend right on a white panel, you don't want to get ink all over, then you do have to mask. Okay, for color, starting with peachy. I'm going to be using Simus the Stamp Positively Saturated Inks for this project. I am using my beloved Waffle Flower blending brushes, which I love. And then now there's a detail. There's a couple different details you can do with the wings. I'm using this one right below it. You can see there's little lines on the stencil, kind of like little registration lines that help you easily center that detail design on your previously blended outer wing. Okay, so now I'm going in with a little bit darker shade of orange. This is grapefruit. I am kind of concentrating the color in the center of the wings and fading it out a little bit lighter for a bit of that butterfly gradient love. Okay, I didn't want it to be too stark, but I wanted it to be gorgeous. Okay, now I'm going to do the bottom half of the butterfly and a different color, so we're getting a two-tone. You don't have to. You could customize this. You can make the butterfly all the same color. Uh, you could do a rainbow, gradient. You can just... Sky's the limit when you're using stencils. Okay, I'm going in with a light shade of pink. This is carnation. And again, kind of concentrating that color in the center of the bottom wing and fading it out a little bit lighter. I just love how that looks. Okay, now for the detail bottom wing, lining that up using those registration lines on the stencil to help me center it. Now I'm going in with a darker shade of pink, one of my all-time favorite pink colors, this peony. I love it so much and it looks so good on top of carnation, but it is a very vibrant color, so a little dab will do. Okay, so a little bit there in the center, fade it out. You do have to be careful that stencil, it's got the little twirly whirlies, so you don't wanna, you don't wanna blend too aggressively or you will move that unless you wanna use some of that pixie spray to adhere the stencil down securely. Now there's also a little, uh, what do you call this? Like the butterfly body. And it's optional, you don't have to do it. But I thought, hey, why not? So I pulled out a little charcoal and a little small detail brush getting in there to add the little butterfly body. Do you call it a butterfly body? Maybe it has a better term. I'm not sure. Okay, again, going a little heavier handed on the bottom, fading it up a little lighter. And there you have, gosh, that's such a pretty blended butterfly. But I'm gonna kick it up another notch. We're gonna turn this into a shaker. So I have a panel of cream cardstock. I centered that smaller butterfly and die cut it right into this panel. Now this is becoming our shaker window. I'm ripping open that package of butterfly shaker, what do you call these, like shaker windows, shaker covers? And they fit perfectly right into that smaller die cut window. And then I have to trim that white panel a little bit smaller. Now to add a little extra detail, I take both of the butterflies, kind of center them together, and I'm die cutting it into some hot pink cardstock. And this will create 
just a little like border or a little frame. You don't have to, it's optional, but I thought it added a little bit of interest. Now for shaker filler, you could do anything you want. I'm just doing some clear sequins. I didn't want anything to compete with my blended butterfly. Now I just carefully rested that shaker window over top and I'm gonna adhere it with tape runner that's gonna be on the back of my cream panel. There's probably a lot of different ways that you could adhere this and put it all together. Uh, but this is how I chose to do it. So it's just resting there free. But when I put down this cream panel with the tape runner, now everything's secure. Then I'll put a little bit of glue on this hot pink little outer border. One thing I forgot to do, which you probably should have done before, is stamp a sentiment. Now I'm not going to be able to use my Misty because of that shaker window. It's too thick, so I'm kicking it old school with the old acrylic block. Haven't done this in a while. Used to do it all the time. And now I've lost my confidence, but it turned out okay. Popping this on a white card base. And there you have a fun, effortless, little blended shaker butterfly card. Okay, I couldn't resist doing one more, just little bonus, little butterfly shape card. So I had a little extra of that cream cardstock. I made a small little folded card. I'm taking the larger butterfly die and hanging it off the top hinge run it through the die cutting machine and now that hinge will stay intact and you have a little butterfly shape card base. I am going to go ahead and blend another butterfly just like I did on the first card. I'll show you everything I did but it's exactly what I did before. I'm just using different colors. Since I did warm tones on the first card I'm going to go cool tones on this one. So I pulled out a little celery which is a very delicious limey green. Again, a little heavier handed in the center, fading it out. Okay, these butterflies are putting me in the mood for some warm weather, some sunshine and some warmth. Here in Illinois, you're not gonna believe this, it snowed. It snowed and it just about made me cry. I mean, we're like getting near the end of March and we're getting snow. I remember one year, years ago, we had snow on Easter and that was just, cruel. Put the kids outside for an Easter egg hunt in the snow? Come on now. Okay, so but we need some warm temps. We need some sunshine so I can walk my dog Hank the Tank. I don't, I don't like walking him outside when my nose hairs freeze. And um, But he loves, he loves the cold weather. It doesn't bother him a bit. And when it starts getting warm, He's going to start shedding like the Dickens. Gonna be, he already sheds like the Dickens, but it's, we're going to amp up. And uh, we've got all the dog hair cleaning tools known to man. I mean, we've got the rollers. We've got the dog rake mop thingamajiggies. We're trying. We are trying. But you know what? It's a, it, what do you call that? It's a losing battle. It's worth it, though. I don't even care. Okay, I did that bottom out of some aqua, a little combination of sea foam and surf. Again, with the butterfly body, a little charcoal. Taking out that smaller butterfly die and die cutting this out and then now before I put everything together I'm thinking ahead but uh, that cream card base I'm going to go ahead and make a cover for it out of white I like the white better and then also since I made those hinges I didn't like how that looks so I'm going to adhere a full white die cut on top of that little cream shape card so now you've got the beautiful white butterfly shape. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment now, thinking ahead. Again, using that little fluttering by stamp set, just sending hugs. Going to pop up my blended butterfly on the white shape card, and then a few little clear drops, little dew drops to finish it off. And look at this. You could tuck that in a gift. You could turn it into a little tag. It's just a cute little note card, and then you've got your shaker and that is a closer look at the new Sneak Peek Club kit number three with Waffle Flower. Make sure and check out the Waffle Flower website and blog for more inspiration and information. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.